to. Today is January 12th. It's Tuesday. Uh, I just weighed in and I'm currently weighing 135.5. I reported it for you guys, but then my toenails are <laughs> really nasty looking. <laughs> it's the middle of winter. I haven't had a pedicure in like three months, so I'm just gonna not subject you to having to see that. this like huge lack of hunger unless I've been on a calorie deficit for a couple days in a row I just don't wake up really hungry so most of the time uh, my staple breakfast is um, one scoop of protein six egg whites water and half a scoop of oatmeal um, and then I normally drink the egg whites with the protein and then I just spend I'll take the oatmeal with me to bed, <laughs> back to bed, and then I'll just like eat it really slowly over like 30 minutes or something while I drink my coffee and uh, mess around on my cell phone for like eight hours. <laughs> well, I'm just making sure we are both normal. Huh? I like a variety. So we had our breakfast and I went with the vegan cream from Muscle Farm and six egg whites and some water. I did out uh, 10 ounces of water in with my egg whites for my morning cup um, with half a cup of oatmeal here um, with just a little bit of stevia sprinkled on top um, just so that it doesn't taste bitter. Um, and then a second cup of coffee from our new Keurig Rev, which is super cool. And then I'm also going to take um, my morning supplement. I mean, I always try to take this with food in the morning. Um, if you notice, I, like, I, I came back into back into bed. That's what happens in the morning. And then my boyfriend yells at me because he's like, don't eat in the bed. You wear clothes in the bed. But it's like, I'm so comfortable. I'm just going to eat it. But just so wonderful I have breakfast in bed every day um, anyways uh, we'll go over uh, supplements um, in a different video but I have my multivitamin here um, this is a joint supplement um, that I take because um, I've had some I played a bunch of sports in high school and I have a couple different sports injuries in my ankle and shoulder and stuff and so I just always try to take a glucosamine based uh, joint supplement with my lifting and then of course we have a thermogenic here and I pretty much can hang out in bed and play on my phone check my work emails um, you know uh, reply to some stuff look at YouTube look at in Instagram hang out listen to an ebook and I'll pretty much like stay here like this is my morning routine um, I'll stay here uh, until that thermogenic starts to kick in. It's me rolling, and then I'll put on the rest of my gym clothes and uh, head out for the gym. And today we are doing a gluten ham focus to kick off this cut because who doesn't feel better when their butt's bigger? I mean, I don't know. Oh, look at her butt. It's so big. It's huge. No? Just kidding. I'm fighting my gut and it works. That's never going to happen. What a girl can dream, right? <laughs> uh, 
uh, okay, I will see you guys all at the gym. No matter what I'm training, I always want to get blood flowing to whatever muscle I'm focusing on because no matter how you train, you're always going to have assisting muscles and you really want that contraction and mind-muscle connection to uh, your target train. So right here I'm warming up hamstrings. Uh, this works your glutes too, especially if you squeeze them up at the top. Uh, it's a very challenging exercise. We did moved into squats after this. I was kind of sore because I had already worked out earlier in the day, but I didn't get it recorded, so I went back to the gym with a friend to record the exercises for me. I'm lifting 135 right here. We started off lighter than that to warm up, and we moved heavier going up to 185 for our last set. Um, Gosh, I wish I would have squatted up just a teeny bit deeper, but what are you going to do? I was sore already. <laughs> uh, these, This was the only exercise I had recorded from my previous workout um, in the day when the gym was not nearly as busy. They are single leg Romanian deadlifts. Um, I really love doing them on the Smith machine. It just helps you balance. I feel like I can get into it deeper. Uh, you can see I'm quite short, so I'm just barely hitting my, not hitting my head on top of the Smith machine. So if you're tall, be careful with that. Uh, my Smith machine doesn't go all the way down, so I have to stand on an uh, elevated platform in order to get all the way deep. I do these to failure, and the Smith machine actually kind of helps me go a little heavier, and I don't have to use as much forearm strength with like a dumbbell. Plus, I always lose my balance. Uh, I guess I just don't have a lot of core strength. That's something I'm still working on. And yeah, it's just it's just an awesome burn. I can only do about eight to ten reps before I feel like my leg is going to buckle and I'm going to fall forward and die on the floor. So luckily, I didn't end up doing any of that today. I got a really good contraction. I was feeling lovely about it. Plus when you bring that back leg backwards, um, when I come down, I really try to squeeze that glute. And then when I come back up, I try to feel it all the way um, in the back of my hamstring and uh, really drive through your heel to pick that weight back up. And then you can feel it more as it comes up back uh, right behind your knee and uh, right under your glute, which is nice. So I wasn't planning on doing lunges at, during this leg day, but the guys were working out, uh, my boyfriend and his friend, so I just decided to throw in some lunges here. I did a few sets uh, just to prove to them I could lift as much as them, but it really hurt, and uh, they had to put that weight on my back. Uh, I couldn't uh, lift it or press and clean it over my shoulders. With the 45s on there, I can only do it with like 25s, maybe 35s if I'm not sore. <laughs> it was a fun time. Here, I'm training my abductors. I have a very limited gym, so we don't actually have like an abductor machine or anything like that. There's actually not a lot of machines in this gym whatsoever, so I do a lot of modified workouts on uh, the cables as far as legs. And with like dumbbells and different, uh, you know, weighted plyometric type workouts uh, to make sure that I'm training all different aspects of it. And as you can see, my left side is really weak and I'm kind of like bouncing a little bit, but it's because my right side can lift that weight really easily and my left side needs a lot of extra help. Here we are doing Bulgarian split squats and I always try to hold the weight above my head because I feel like it keeps me more upright and parallel. Whereas if I carry something on my back or in my arms, I, I lean too far forward and I don't get a good glute focus. I end up doing too much of a quad emphasis on these. These are also very challenging, like the Romanian deadlifts, the single leg deadlifts I was doing before. They just burn. They get your heart rate up so high. And so, like like those, I can only do like maybe um, eight to twelve reps, depending on 
how fatigued my muscles already are at that point. I was supersetting them with uh, sumo squats right here. I didn't do it on an elevated platform just because the gym was super busy. I normally do. Um, but I didn't want to set everything up because I was really trying to like wait for other pieces of equipment that I wanted to train on. But so these are really nice to superset with the Bulgarian split squats because I feel like I got more blood pumping to my glutes. I always try to drive super through my heels with these. Um, and then you do like the weird butt pucker at the top. <laughs> hey guys, so today's day three. I am currently waiting for my car to defrost. It's about 17 degrees outside, so my windshield is completely iced over, and even chipping the ice away did not help get rid of it any. I wanted to talk about my weigh-in from day one. So consistently the week before, I was weighing in at 132. Uh, so my weigh-in on Monday, Tuesday, my weigh-in on Tuesday was 135.5, and I weighed in today at 133. Over the weekend, it was my work's Christmas party, so there was some drinking that we did, and there was a bunch of uh, food that was probably not very good for me. I fell off my diet for probably about two days. Uh, so I am assuming that that 135.5 was water weight, and it's pretty much impossible to lose uh, three and a half pounds of fat in, in two days. So. I shed a little bit of water weight, which was really exciting. Um, today we're training, I'm not gonna record it just because I don't have anybody to do it, but tomorrow we will film uh, back at a different gym than day one, and I'm kind of excited to put that up for you. And then this weekend we'll do a full day of eating. I'll kind of walk you guys through uh, my macro percentages that I'm gonna do for this cut, kind of how we're gonna do everything, what I like to do as far as meal prep, and I just wanted to say that, you know, whenever you start a healthy eating regimen and stuff, you'll notice that first week it's kind of fun and it's uh, exciting because you will watch the scale drop anywhere from like five to 10 pounds in that first week because you'll lose the sodium uh, blow and the water weight and everything like that. Uh, but don't be afraid the second week when the scale doesn't move for like seven days in a row. And that's probably when I'll stop weighing in every day just because uh, it kind of fucks with your psyche to think that, oh, I lost all this week the first week and now I haven't lost anything. And, and it's because actually burning off a pound of fat is hard. And we're gonna try with this cut to burn at least a pound uh, to two pounds a week um, of fat, which is more reasonable. Uh, so, yeah, we're back to our starting point, which is really nice. Uh, I did really well on my macros the last few days. I'm kind of proud of myself. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue to sit here and wait for my car to be frost, and I will see you guys tomorrow when we train back. Uh, we're gonna train with a girlfriend of mine too, so I'll put up her. Uh, lifts as well. She's quite strong, the power lifting type. So uh, it'll be exciting and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great day.